we have this like donut journey that not a lot of people know about. Some new bling for the camper. Probably is it from Michigan. What are you gonna do? Hot. <laughs> you just meet the group, the best people when you're camping. Even three, two, one. Yeah, so now if you see us going down the road, come up and honk and wave, but don't let it be something because our tire's dragging or something like that. Just say hi. Well, if it is dragging, we <laughs> still want to know. If it is dragging, know. tell us. Still want to know. pad yeah if you can look at this pad here beside us how wide that is we still have half the pad for uh, yeah just the living space so it's so First nice time here at Tar Hollow and it's supposed to get busy so I guess this weekend it's Labor Day weekend we're just gonna relax we just came off that long week in Michigan we're gonna enjoy our camping trip we do a little little cooking this weekend so tonight on the pit boss tailgater I didn't put the legs up as I was lazy he's going short version yeah we're going short version we're gonna smoke a pizza now I've done pizza in the past where I've made my own dough cooked it on my smoker and it was fantastic but because it's Friday and we had to travel to get here we just bought a pre-done pre pizza pizza crust So we just did a uh, pre-done pizza crust for this weekend. Ooh, I love the crunch of that crust already. There won't be any corners to uh, fight over. I don't think we really fight over the corners, do we? No, you usually just give them to me. Alright, here's to not ordering pizza at the campground and to making your own. Hot. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. It's uh, our first morning here. You know, I haven't, uh, haven't made a fire Oh, early a morning fire this year kind of weird because that's one of my favorite things to do because I do get up so early but uh, we're at Tar Hollow uh, State Park here in Ohio so as you can see I did get a fire started I'm gonna head that way but kind of interesting situation here because we got neighbors right over here that are uh, you know I don't want to be too noisy to wake them but I do want to start a fire and this is how it goes 
I don't know what we got planned today. I think we're going to do a little bit of uh, hiking. Oh, sorry, put myself in the light here. I think we're going to probably just check out the park. Maybe go see a uh, Great Seal State Park. Definitely go drink my coffee. And uh, I'm sure we'll be uh, doing something. Know this but there is a trail in Ohio called the Buckeye Trail. It's a 1400 mile loop all around the state, self contained in Ohio. But the bad thing is, my wife will probably want to do that trail. But there's also a trail that comes through here called the North Country National Scenic Trail, starts in New York, goes to North Dakota, and the Coast to Coast American Discovery Trail. Wow, who knew? It's a lot of walking. So we did find the view. Go to Adina Mansion, which is Thomas Worthington's home, who was the first governor of Ohio. And it was this view right here that brought the whole Great Seal along. Butcher's Hollywood for the uh, seasoning. Hopefully I have enough because it's running out. I love this stuff. We need to make another trip there. Yep. Dinner is served. So normally the bone will pull, pull back a little more, but I used butcher paper instead of foil this time. So foil normally steams the crap out of them, makes them real soft, so hopefully they'll still be tender. Alright, so one of the things I like to see is this kind of stuff. At a guy's a Marine, he's our neighbor, a Marine veteran, once a Marine, always Marine. And that's just really cool with the Fallen Soldier tribute, Marine flag, and then the American flag in the back. Doesn't get any better. These are my kind of people. I like it. Probably is they're from Michigan. What are you gonna do? That's a really cool setup. So we saw a, a donut shop in, in town. We were in town the other day, so we saw the original Krispy Kreme donut shop. So I don't know if it is the original or not, but we're gonna go check it out. That's the donut. So is this really the original? And it's spelled differently. Because uh, yeah, now that... We're actually the original. We're spelled with a C. So we actually started it. Um, it's a pretty long story, but uh, yeah. my great-grandfather started in Mulberry, Kansas. And he started opening up little shops along the way. Really? He way east. He had a lot in Chicago, Kentucky. There's a lot of different states. And finally, wow. uh, decided he wanted to settle down. So we started selling off a few of his shops. And the one in okay. Kentucky, uh, he was serving as manager at the time, Maria Rudolph. Yeah. And he uh, franchised, he wanted a franchise, so he uh, did buy the building and the um, equipment for us, but he changed the name, but he didn't change it by very much, and he changed it to the case and franchised over that. Oh my uh, word, and wow. And we came to Ohio to settle in Portsmouth originally, and uh, they tried to kind of merge with us for a few years, but um, just nothing yeah. really took it. We just didn't want to, we were happy with what we had. And, didn't want to. What year was that? Uh, 1929. Wow. Yeah, and then they right in out. the middle of the Depression. Yes, and the Dust Bowl. Yeah. Out west. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, they were in Kansas. Yeah. Well. We eat a lot of donuts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. 
while they warm this up, it was fantastic. Alright, so one of the things this rig didn't come with was a, uh, just a simple stinky slinky holder. So I installed one last week, but Joni noticed this is how this end was, when we got here, this end was open just like this and we just noticed. So we ended up getting just a couple simple carabiners. I've attached, I put my two stinky slinkies together as one to fit in here, but I'm just gonna close that and put a put this carabiner on it. Now that should hold, and it won't come undone anymore. Hi, my my name is Joseph, and we're making kettle corn. Me too. My name is Lucas, and and Our my chef. dad Joey. Yeah. Chef Joey. All righty. So is that just oil and your? Sugar, sugar, so sugar, one sugar. cup of oil. Sugar, sugar, sugar. One cup of. Uh, one cup of uh, popcorn and then one cup of uh, sugar. And salt then, right? Yeah, a little bit of salt. Right. Three, two. Can I put it right in the middle. Oh, pick it up. Watch out. Back up. <laughs> I got my salt. So it's good. fine. We're all good. We never do. I ate yeah. about that much of what was left over in Henry's container. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Hey, what are you doing? Sitting on an invisible bench. You want to join me? Yeah, sure. You should tilt it over. Hey, what you guys doing? Sitting on an invisible bench. You want to join us? What you doing? Hey, we're sitting on an invisible bench. Uh, I. That's funny. We move. That bench over there last week. Oh no! <laughs> hey glampers, we are going to end up our weekend here, but I'll tell you what, the reason we do love camping is the reasons we found out this weekend. You just meet the, group, the best people when you're camping. Even if they are from Michigan. Even if they're from Michigan. <laughs> so I want to introduce you guys to this crew over here. We've got Your Mike, oldest. Whitney, Joey, and Robin. And their kiddos are around and their here. Their kiddos are here somewhere, but they invited us into their circle and in, around their campfire every night, invited us to have food, and just opened up to us. And that's what camping is all about, in my opinion. Thanks for having us, guys. Thanks for, uh, thanks for feeding us. Thanks yes, for everything. Thank you. Some thanks for the next company. time. Until oh, next time. <laughs> yeah. Happy glamping. Oh,